Demystifying transitive phrasal verbs in English. Hello, English learners. Today, we'll be diving deep into a fascinating part of English language, transitive phrasal verbs. These can often seem daunting, but they are a crucial component of natural, fluent English. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what transitive phrasal verbs are, but you'll also be equipped with some common examples to enhance your English conversation skills. So, let's start by understanding what transitive phrasal verbs are. A phrasal verb is a combination of a verb and one or more words, typically prepositions or adverbs. Transitive phrasal verbs are a type of phrasal verb that require an object to complete their meaning. Now, let's get to the fun part. Examples. Remember, the best way to learn is through practice, so try to make sentences using these phrasal verbs as we go along. 1. Bring up. To bring up means to mention or introduce something in conversation. Example. She always brings up her vacation to Italy whenever we discuss travel. 2. Turn down. To turn down something, or someone, means to reject. Example. He turned down the job offer because it required too much travel. 3. Take off. To take off can mean to remove something, often clothing, or it can also refer to the moment an airplane leaves the ground and begins to fly. Example. Take off your shoes before entering the house. 4. Look after. To look after a means to take care of. Example. Can you look after my dog while I'm on vacation? 5. Call back. To call back means to return a phone call. Example. I'll call back in the evening when I have more time. Remember, these are just a few examples. There are many transitive phrasal verbs in English, and the more you practice, the better you'll get at using them. In English, context is key. The same phrasal verb can have different meanings depending on the context in which it's used. Take, take off, for example. In one situation, it could mean removing a piece of clothing, but in another, it could refer to an airplane leaving the ground. So, always pay attention to the context. And that wraps up our lesson on transitive phrasal verbs. Remember, the key to mastering these is consistent practice. Try to incorporate these phrasal verbs into your daily conversations, and you'll soon start feeling more comfortable with them. We hope this video has been helpful and made English a little bit easier for you. Stay tuned for our next video where we will cover even more fascinating English topics. Happy learning!